Hello and welcome to another guest edition, a very special edition of the Ask Nachi show. The expert guest that we have in-house today is Holly Tate. Holly Tate is the Vice President of Business Development and Marketing at Van der Blumen, uh, an executive search company in uh, US for Christian organizations, where she leads partnerships, brand growth, lead generation, sales and marketing alignment, and new initiatives for the company. She is an international speaker and consultant of marketing, communication, brand growth, and workplace culture. She's spoken uh, in various conferences, including the Push Pay Summit, uh, Texas Ministry Conference, That Church Conference, and ICMA, which is where I had the chance of uh, meeting Holly for the first time. And Holly is a member of the Forbes Communications Council. She was named uh, on ThornRainer.com's Young Influencer List in February 2016. In her spare time, Holly loves reading and spending time with her husband, Elliot, and their dog, Scraps. Here is my interview with Holly Tate. Holly, welcome to the Ask Nachi show. I so appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. And we have a fantastic question for you today from one of the church leaders. And the question says, any content strategy tips to engage the younger generation of our church? I mean, I can see this question ringing in so many people's ears and uh, so many churches are looking for that. So how, how can you help us? Give us your thoughts. You've been at this for many years now. You work with lots, lots of organizations. Uh, give us some tips. Well, I feel like I'm asking the same question because I just downloaded TikTok for the first time a couple of weeks ago. I was way behind the curve and I thought, you know, I better figure this out um, because, you know, it's so quickly growing and is becoming an outlet for definitely the next generation and everybody. But when people ask this question, I feel like they always want a tip or a hack or a, a quick fix. Mm. But really... It's the same answer for any marketing strategy that we're figuring out, and it's to listen. So that's my biggest piece of advice. If you're not regularly engaging with the younger generation, hanging out with them, asking them what they're struggling with, the challenges that they're facing in life, the big questions that they're asking, you know, rather than sitting behind your computer screen and, and trying to come up with strategies or solutions, ask them, set up a Zoom call, call your nephew or your niece <laughs> or your grandchild, whatever that looks like in your life, um, observe them and ask them questions. I think that's the biggest tip that I can give any church leader or marketer is to lead with empathy, put yourself in their shoes and listen. The best marketers are the best listeners. That is awesome. And how true. I mean, many times we think young people, they have, you know, not much to say, or we only have advice to give them. But in this case, in digital and the social media world, they are the experts. So that mm -hmm. is such a relevant question. So I want to dig a one more step deeper uh, into that. And to say, so when you say listen to them, so is there, uh, is there something that uh, as a best practice, as somebody who works as a consultant with organizations, is there a best practice in terms of uh, workflow or in terms of tools or uh, how do you how do you think uh, they should go about doing that i mean should should it be part of like a regular uh, workflow on an ongoing basis or should they do like a survey at one off in regular intervals what do you think yes so at the end of the day i think the best thing is just to get started don't overthink your process or your system just start having conversations mm -hmm. but i really love collaborative tools so if you, you might be a solo church leader, a solo pastor, um, or if you have a team or even a team of volunteers, start a Google Doc. Mm -hmm. I love tools like Google Docs or Google mm -hmm. Sheets where as people are learning things or if they hear something in a conversation or they see something on social media that might be helpful to the conversation of how do we reach the younger generation, put it there in that collaborative document where you can share that brain power mm -hmm. and collaborate so I think that would be a great um, first place to start. Mm -hmm. This all goes back, Nachi, to a topic that you and I both love, which is persona. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. um, so if you have decided that for your organization, your persona, which all a persona is, is the fictional representation of your ideal customer in the business world. But for a ministry setting, we talk about seeker or congregant, whatever word you want to fill in there. 
that is your persona. And so it's helpful once you kind of figure out who that is to fill out a persona worksheet. It's really simple. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't need to buy any fancy software. It's just, it could be a Google slide or a Google document or even a Microsoft Word document where you're just documenting who is this person? What is their story? What is their name? It's not a real person, but it's based on those real people that you're talking to as you're collecting that data and getting to know their story really well. Mm. Wow. Thank you for sharing that practical tip with us. Thank you, Holly. We really appreciate you uh, taking our questions and thanks for being on the Asanachi show. Once again, God bless you and may you continue to help more people. Thank you, Nachi. So glad to be here. 